Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a project pan update. So first I'm going to go through the updates in my OG project pan. Then I will um, make kind of an announcement officially my pan that palette this year. Some of you may have already guessed it because I've already been working on it. And then I am going to go over my pan over purchase update as well. I did get a little sun today, so just, um, just ignore ignore that it'll go away <laughs> but yeah if you're new here hey hit the subscribe button be sure your notifications are on and if at any time you enjoy this video hit the thumbs up button or if you think you'll forget about it just go ahead and hit it now this video is going to be fun all the videos are fun so be sure to stick around hang out be sure to also grab you a drink i i poured myself a mighty fine cocktail <laughs> Might have over poured myself but it's fine it's still early in the evening i got plenty of time but yeah let's go ahead and jump into the video okay so like i mentioned we're going to be starting with my og project pan and i'm just going to kind of be going what i pick up i'm going to show you all the progress and then i am going to be adding some items to this project as well so we will go ahead and chat about that too the first products I wanted to show you guys are my Kylie Cosmetics lip liners. I wear these pretty much every day. They actually need sharpened again. I'm working on the shade Candy K and I think it's Malibu. Yeah, Malibu. This is like one of my favorite shades in the summer because it pairs so well with um, lighter lipsticks and creates like a really beautiful contrast. Um, as you can see in the previous picture, the pencils were above like the tingle logo and now they are like below it around the eye so progress with these i've already accepted is probably going to be slow it's going to take some time but there has been progress as you can see in the photographs and that's why i like to document with photos because a lot of times it feels like you haven't done shit like you're not making any kind of progress but then when you look at the photos, you're like, oh, okay, like, I am making progress with this, you know? Like, I'm freaking hauling through this. So, that's why I recommend tracking it, whether it be through uses, photographs, whatever. Like, you'll be able to better see uh, the progress that you are having. So, I highly recommend that. The next item, dude, this is a big update, is my Kosas, uh let's see color and light cream in the shade velvet melon this is what it looked like during our last update i want you guys to just take it all in take it all in see what it looks like know what it looks like and then i'll show you i i probably should have cleaned this shit before i started filming this it's cream so it's kind of eh, be aware um but this is what it looks like now you guys i will clean it up and stuff before i um take the photo to insert but this is what it looks like, and wow, I'm impressed. I've been wearing this and my other blush almost every single day, um, and I will say, I definitely think this will be finished by this month. I, right now, am working on wearing this down right here, so then I'll just have that around, and I think that this is going to go pretty fast. Like, I'm thinking two weeks, maybe three at the most, that kind of situation, just as a reminder, I do think that this shade is really beautiful. Um, this does take quite a bit of building up. My only issue with it is that it's not very long lasting. So that's why I don't really think I would repurchase this. I am, however, obsessed with this cream highlight portion. It is so stunning. I'm still wearing this like every single day. I love it so much. It is so beautiful. Uh, I did like a week ago this started to get kind of a play-doh-y scent um so i really kicked it i really was like okay like i am definitely gonna or maybe it was a week and a half or two weeks ago when i'm filming this but i really was like okay i need to kick it in gear because i'll be damned if this goes off before i finish it <laughs> i am gonna finish it you guys like i am going to i am gonna get that empty pan uh, so yeah, this is gonna be like in my basket until it's done. It does surprise me how quickly I've been able to go through the product, but also 
it has to be built up so not really um but yeah so really freaking awesome progress on this and like I said I think it'll be finished by the next update and I think we'll see some really serious progress on this side right now I'm working on this bottom portion here so I'm hoping by our next update um we will have pan at the bottom portion of that highlight but yeah I wish they sold those cream highlighters in the singles then I would definitely pick another one of these up because really really nice Next up, I have the Fido Surgeons Spectral Shine in the shade Divine Daylight. Again, I will insert the um, photo. And this one doesn't have a ton of progress. I, I have used it a handful of times. I'm a little deeper right now, so I'm really taking advantage of using my other one. This one will definitely be my next victim though, so don't you worry. Because right now between the other one and this one, there hasn't really been room for me to use this one. So I will definitely start focusing on this one a little bit more heavily once I wrap up some other products. But I have used it a couple of times and you can tell um, in the progress pictures that there has there has been use. I have made progress on it. So that's good. That's what it's like. That's what this is all about. Like I have used it. So it'll just it's it's time to get beat hasn't really come yet, but it will be coming very soon. Uh and I mean, I'm also not really in a huge hurry to finish it. I love this product and I use it like daily, so you know, but really love this one um and I still made some progress in it. The next product this is the one I've been using daily. It is the uh, Fido Shade Dew of Dawn. It is the deepest shade that I have. So it just, it's better for me during this time of year. So it's what I've really been focusing on. It's my oldest one in my collection. So I really wanted to make sure that I finished it up this year because I, they don't put, they don't put a shelf life on these. Um, but I think in August-ish, this will be at its one year mark. So I don't know I just wanted to focus on it but I will clean off the outside here really quick I should have cleaned these off <laughs> oh well but this is what this is what it looked like last month and then I'm gonna show you what it looked like with daily use you guys look at that look how close it is um cheers to that you guys <laughs> Man, I love panning. There is literally just something so satisfying about it. Look! It literally, it looks so good. I cannot wait. I will say now that like the product is more condensed to the edges, it is a bitch to get out. Um, I've been rotating through by my like my stipple brush and then I'll take like one of my Fido brushes and I'll pinch it to get in there and get the product out um because like with this it starts to get crumbly but with this I can't always get it so I've been rotating back and forth with the brushes to get it out and um because I talked to the owners uh Jason and Tom and well I didn't Steph did my friend Steph because she's she's already finished one of these and we Steph and I were DMing and I was like you know, what do we do when it gets to the point where you would typically repress a product because the formulation is a little bit different. Uh, if you have one, then you know what I mean. So we weren't sure if we repressed it, if we would ruin the product, like what we should do. Um, Jason advised us to not repress them due to the formulation. So we're just going in, trying to get it out. I definitely, this will be done. I will say, I would say within like two weeks, honestly, but it will definitely be done by the time that we have our next update. And I'm really excited about it. I cannot wait. And don't worry, I will clean, I will clean that pan up. I'll buff it. I'll make it look all beautiful for when it's empty. So don't worry about that. But yes, freaking, oh, so satisfying. Great progress on this product. Okay, next up, uh, we have the Nabla Skin Glazing uh, Highlighter in the shade Privilege. You guys, 
Still no fucking pen. <laughs> I use this daily in my brow bone. And remember, I was like, I'll definitely have pen by the next update because I for sure thought that I would, but I don't. It's just expanding out. And sometimes the pan just kind of goes where it wants to with the product. So that's what it's doing right now. Um, it's just like expanding outward this way. I'm going to continue to use it as a brow bone highlight. If you caught my last video, you'll know my goal isn't to completely pan this. My goal is to just continually use it this year for a brow bone highlight and see what progress I can make because I don't, I don't wear powdered highlights on my cheeks anymore. So this is the best way that I can get use out of a product like this. So I kind of just wanted to really like track the progression, but it sounds, I feel like maybe it's not going to be that cool if it's going to be like that slow. Like, I don't know, but maybe once I expand it, it'll really just get going. We'll see. But yeah, still continuing to work on this one. Next up is my Olimar Bronzer Trio. I have expanded the pan a little bit on both of these and really worn this down. As you can see, like we're about to get some more exposed waffles. I haven't really been using this shade as much just because I'm a little bit deeper right now. But I have been using this shade off and on. I was starting to feel a little bit burnt out. So I did rotate some other bronzers in to use for a little bit, which is fine. I, my goal is to finish this by the end of the year. So I still have time. And as long as I'm making a little bit of visible progress every month, like I'm happy with that. So I think that it looks good. There's progress. And like, yeah, you see that I'm catching those. Those pans are so close to being exposed. So yeah, I think that progress is still steady on this and I'm going to keep working on it. Um, yeah. All right. Next up is my Patrick Tall blush in the shade. She's so LA. I made really good progress in this as well. Like I said, I've been using a combination of this and my closest one literally every single day. It, that's, that's what I'm wearing today. And I really like the shade that they create when they're working together and this is what it looks like so this has been a really good progress as well right now I'm just like wearing it down around the outsides there and we're getting to like a pretty thin layer I don't know if it will be done by next month if it's not done by the next update, it will be done shortly after that. Um, yeah, I just, cause I've, uh, I did switch up my brush that I'm using with it a little bit so that I could get a more concentrated like area of the product. I'm not quite ready to repress it yet. I'm going to keep working the sides. But yeah, we'll see. Either way, I am really happy with the progress that I've made on this because it looks so good compared to last time. And like you guys can't even really tell like how, probably can't even tell how worn, oh well, maybe right there, how worn down it actually is. Like, yeah. So I think if this isn't done by the next update, then it'll probably be pretty close after that because progress with this has been pretty quick even though I usually only dip into it once I just don't really think there's that much product in uh the top of this like I don't it didn't take me that long to hit pan in the top part either so I just don't think that there's like a lot in there so really it's a good one to pick to finish so I'm I'm really happy about that just as a reminder I am <laughs> I don't use powder blush I I started I got into cream and it was a slippery slope and now I don't really have any powder blush so I'm not using the bottom part I'm not even trying to pan the bottom part I'm not gonna put myself through that uh, once this is finished I might see if someone I know wants the bottom part and if not then I'll just declutter it because I'm not gonna use it but yeah really loving the progress I'm seeing on that next up but -da boom are you guys ready if you follow me on IG, then you already know because I could not wait until this update to share it because I was just like, I'm a fucking boss. That's how I felt. I was like, mm-hmm, 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 I'll pan. 
but I completely finished my Phytosurgence blush in the shade Smolder. This, if you have these, then, well, actually, I don't even know if you know, because I didn't really realize how much product was in these until I'd been using it almost solely for months. And like, I was like barely below the lip. Like it, the amount of product in these is insane. The pigmentation is really good. So you can't even really like apply a lot. So this took me like a year to finish of probably using it up to like 80% of the time. And, oh, uh, so satisfying. Is it not? If it's not, then I don't know. If you're a painter, then you know. It is it's very exciting. So it's very, very, I just feel, let me, let me, let me, let me get on my soapbox really quick here. I just feel accomplished as fuck. And <laughs> right now, the way the world is, it's the little things, you guys. It really is. If it's finishing a blush that makes you feel really good that day, then let it. Like, let that be the good thing that happened to you for even like the whole week, like let it find joy in the small things and let it just write it out. So really, really excited about this. This is like one of my favorite shades ever. So I am itching to buy a replacement because I miss it, but I'm going to wait because I have two other focus blushes right now. So I know I'm going to be reaching for those over this. And then I would really like to get just some general rotation out of my other blushes. So I will repurchase this, but I am going to try and wait until the beginning of next year to do so. I'm going to try and wait. No, no promises, but I am going to try. So yeah, really, really exciting empty, you guys. Like, <laughs> next up, um, well, actually we'll do... We'll do the products I'm going to rotate in next. So that obviously is done. So it's being rotated out. Um, there are a few products I would like to rotate in. Over the past month, I've still been looking through my collection and seeing what else that I should be rotating in because when I decided to do the Project Pan, I had just like a handful of items that I knew, but I hadn't really thought about it long and hard and decided. So... I've now done that and I have the others that I would like to finish uh, by the end of the year. So I'm going to chat about what I'm rolling in. The first product is the All Nighter from Urban Decay. This is their waterproof setting powder. I love this. Okay. Uh, I, this is my second one. I've already completely panned one. The only thing about it though is like, if you know me, I don't, I don't really use powder like hardly ever. So I've had it open for a year, so I would like to use it up, one. Two, even though it's marketed as translucent, it's not. It does carry a tint with it, so I can't even wear it in the winter if I wanted to. It's a product that I have to wear in the summer. So, and it, lo it, it looks light in um, this lighting, it does. But it does tint my face, um, cause if you've been here, then in the winter, you know, like I, I'm fair light. So with the tint, it makes my face too dark. So I really want to get this used up this summer and rotate it out of my collection so that moving into next summer, I can open up my new one. Or even if I have to open up my new one at the end of the summer, it'll still be good by the following summer, that kind of situation. So yeah, this is a product that I'm going to be rotating in. The next product, um, two products, I guess. The next two, but they're in the same, like, palette, is these two, like, from, what are they? They were from Billion Dollar Brows, and they are lippies, and I forgot they were even over here, because I keep them in, like, my random assortment of crap, uh, palette, and I didn't realize how close they were to being like done because I don't really, I reach for them when I'm doing like makeup to stay at home because they don't, 
wear the way I would like them to. Like, I think that they're fine, but they're not a favorite. And like, I'm not going to take them to work like that. You know what I mean? So, um, these are ones that I want to actively be reaching for when I'm home and when I'm filming and stuff like that so that I can get more use out of them. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm not going to put pressure on myself because obviously like they're, they're, that one's really close and that one's over halfway. So they will get done, but I would like to see this one finished up by the next update. If it will be, I don't know, but I would like to see that happen. So I am going to rotate both of those into the project. The next item I'm going to rotate in is my Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. I wanted to rotate this in because it is too deep for me in the winter, but it's like too light for me in the summer. It's like a really, it's like when you're in the middle, like that weird in the middle stage. So I don't think it will last me until I'm in that middle stage again next year. So I want to use it up this summer. My plan is I got this sample of this like Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow Tinted Moisturizer and it's like way too deep for me. So I'm going to try and mix them to deepen it up a little bit and see if I can make that work. I have marked it and I'm almost halfway through it. I was using it like daily until I was like, oh, it's, it's looking too light now. Um, but yeah, so my goal is to completely finish this one up and I will continue to mark the product so that we can keep track of that. The last product I'm going to rotate in is the Rose Ink Skin Luminous Tinted Serum. I'm rotating this one in because I did get it like at the beginning of last summer, I think, or maybe it was fall. I got it right when it launched, whenever the heck that was. And I love this, but it only works for me in the summer. And I want to just be mindful and make sure that I use it up this summer because the shelf life is 12 months. So by next summer, it might not be good anymore. It might not perform well anymore. So I want to make sure that I am able to use it up by then because I love it so much and it's like expensive. So I just, I want to be mindful of using it is what I'm, what I'm trying to throw, throw out there. So rotating this in. The next update is, um, as you guys know, I picked some focus shades from my Tati Beauty palette and I rotated those into my project pan. But what I like decided, and I, I kind of felt like I was going to do this anyway, and then I was kind of tossing it around with stuff. And I just decided that this Tati palette is going to continue to be my PTP this year. Um, it was my PTP last year. I took a break. I missed it. I got back into it. I'm loving it and wanting to reach for it. And there are shades that I would love to finish. And I didn't really want to pick a new Pan That palette this year. Like, I didn't really want to. Like, I still want to keep working on this. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll probably announce it officially over my IG either before this goes up or shortly after. But like this is going to be my focus palette for the remainder of the year. And I will show you and I'll put up shots as well of the shades that I was focusing on during the last update so that we can kind of compare a little bit. So last time we are focusing on this shade here because this is one that I want to finish. And just at a glance, it might not look like I've made a ton of progress, but all of this is like super worn down. And I think here pretty shortly within the next couple of weeks, we're going to be able to hit that side pan. So that's kind of what I've been working on. I've also been doing palette stacks uh, series over on my IG. So I haven't been using this as much. I've really just been engrossed in the palette and using what the palette has to offer. So it hasn't been getting as much love as I would like, but we are still making progress. The next exciting thing is this Aura Glitter 
she's gone uh which she was the one that i figured i would probably finish by this update uh because it doesn't look like there's a ton of glitter in these but you don't need a lot so it does take you know quite a few uses but i am excited i was able to finish that just because i can already from like when i first got this palette to now i can feel a bit of a change or a shift in the formulation of the glitters so i'm just like getting a little worried that they might start to go off soon so i want to get the use out of them i want to uh the next focus shade i had was this black glitter right here which as you can see we made a little bit of progress i've used this i think four times since the last update so there has been a little bit i've been you know trying to just wear down at the top so we get that thin layer i then also uh have used this this one only twice but there's still a little bit going on there and i've used this one a couple times as well and like it's looking good we're getting really close to that side pan over there so overall like i have made progress uh i've used the black shade the brown shades you know i've been just like reaching for it again so this is what i'm going to continue to focus on the glitters are probably going to be my primary focus right now and i'm going to keep just that one matte as like my focus shade so i'm gonna continue to focus on those and getting those finished up and then i think maybe once i finish the matte i will probably roll in another shade that's what my thought is um i just don't want to like get too overwhelmed and try to focus on the whole palette as one i kind of just want to tackle this like a handful of shades at a time so that's what I'm going to do. That's my announcement. She's going to continue to be my PCP. I fucking love this palette, honestly. <laughs> like You can tell um, I love it. And I really just want to make sure that I'm able to get the most use I can out of it before, before it goes bad. So I'm going to continue to work on this one. But yeah. Okay. It's time for a pan over purchase update. If you don't know what pan over purchase is, be sure to check out my last video or even any of my project painting videos. I will link the playlist for this year below. It's a project that my friend Steph and I created and that we've been participating in all year. Essentially, it's a really low buy and you gain points from pans and empties, which can then earn you purchases. That is the just idea of things. Now this update is update number six. Uh, so all my progress that I had in June, this update was a lot better than the last update. May was really slow, which is fine. Like there are going to be lull months and panning and in anything. So I was just glad to see it picked up a little bit this month. I will go ahead and insert the photo of my pans and my empties so that you can all see. But uh, as you can see, I hit four pans this month, so four points, uh, which is really exciting. I got some pans and some unexpected items, so I love to see that. And then I also had five empties, which was awesome. I emptied a blush, I emptied an eyeshadow, and I emptied a, a tint, a skin tint foundation situation, the one from Wet n Wild which I love that and 100% would repurchase and recommend. It is so, so good, especially for the summertime. And then that Bobbi Brown gloss. I really love that, but oh my gosh, it was a bear. It was such a stinking bear to finish. Like, whew, it was good, but it took a long time. Um, But yeah, so that means that I had a total of nine points this month, which brings my yearly point count to 80 and my yearly pan count to 55, which is good. I am still pacing for 100 pans this year. Last year, I think I was like just short of 110 or just over 110, I can't remember. Um, but I still wanted to be right around the 100 pan mark. So we're, we're still pacing really well there. And then for empties, uh, 25 makeup empties this year, which I also think is really good. 
I didn't track empties last year, but I kind of wish I would have now. Uh, cause it is also really satisfying to see like, Oh, I completely use this up, like gone empty, whatever. So really exciting. This updates points also earned me a purchase. Uh, it's like every 25 points you get, you earn a purchase. So uh, I broke the threshold of 75. So I earned one purchase. I didn't use any purchases throughout this quarter. Uh, so I have a total of three purchases left, which is exciting because my birthday month is coming up in August and I probably will use a purchase for sure. Uh, I really love this project though, because it has made me a more mindful consumer, um, of what I'm picking up because it's like, okay, well, if I, if I only have $20 worth of cash back on my Sephora card, like what do I want to get with that? Cause I can only get one thing and there's no, like the impulse buying is like pretty much whoop. Like I, I've had a little bit of a bout with blush, but it still was using purchases. So it's really just made me a more mindful consumer and made me really rotate through my collection and I've completely gutted my collection. I have a really, um, a lot of really good declutters up on my channel. If that is your thing, be sure to check out my 2022 declutter playlist. But yeah, I've really just done what I feel is a lot of really, really good work. So I'm really excited about that. But yeah, what a good, what a good month, a good month of progress. We love to see it. If you like this video, uh, be sure to like it. If you want to join pan over purchase, we would love to have you just use the hashtag and, uh, yeah, that's all I really have you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.